Nick Finzer back for another vlog, this time number 13. I just kind of want to talk about a project that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. As an artist and band leader, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to find a way to support your own projects. Money is always a complicated issue, and it's the source of a lot of times why people don't actually take on the projects that they want to. And there are some organizations out there that offer support for our projects, and I'd like to take the time today to talk a little bit about one that's doing great work and has been supporting uh, new jazz music for a long time, which is Chamber Music America. And for the last few weeks, I've been working on an application for one of their grants called New Jazz Works uh, for my 10-piece chamber ensemble. Uh, maybe some of you have had experience applying yourself, but I just wanted to kind of share what went into it for me, and uh, hopefully maybe next year you can uh, try to do it yourself. So the Chamber Music America is an organization that uh, executes some grants uh, through that are made possible by the Doris Duke Foundation uh, in terms of jazz. Uh, they have a lot of classical music grants and uh, some grants for presenters and <coughs> educational organizations. Uh, so definitely check that out, Chamber Music America. Just Google that and uh, their website will come up. The reason that you would apply, obviously, is that you won. Maybe you write music like myself and you wanted to find a new avenues to have opportunities to write music for your ensemble, be able to support it financially, and they also do a great job of uh, helping with funding not only the composition and the musicians to perform it, but uh, some advice and opportunity to uh, come to their conference that they hold annually uh, and to learn from some other people that know a little bit more about presenting music and helping with the recordings and uh, a lot of additional help that you'll get if you're able to win the grant. Uh, so for this particular grant that I applied to is the New Jazz Works grant and it's for ensembles from two to ten people and I've been working with my ensemble which has been uh, ten people. Uh, I decided to put together that <coughs> and uh, it's trumpet, trombone, tuba, alto, tenor, barry, sax, and piano bass drums and guitar so I've been writing some music for that and I decided it was time to uh, take advantage of this opportunity uh, last year a bunch of my friends had applied and I wanted to apply myself but I just kind of ran out of time so since last March I've been planning for this March to apply the deadline is actually this Friday March 7th if you have the chance to get something in at the last minute so the process has been really great in the fact of uh, getting, you know, having an ensemble and trying to come up with a new idea for a piece. The piece has to feature uh, improvisation and written material, and it has to be of substantial length. So for me, that meant I, I'm going to write a suite for my group, and, you know, having to come up with the, all of the language for the grant is a really great experience. I had some experience writing the grants uh, with the Institute for Creative Music, uh, where we've gotten a few, but uh, in terms of my own ensembles, this was the first time. So a couple of things that I would just recommend is definitely read all of the material that's available online. Um, there's FAQs and also a full explanation of everything that you need. You can go and check out some of the music of the other people who have won the grants in the past. De you know, you might consider talking to some people that have won the grant in the past to get, you know, some advice about what to include. You know, and it's really great, a great process just for setting a goal and reaching it and having a project in mind and shaping an ensemble and getting to work a little bit and you know it's just a great way to get yourself motivated in to do something and to to follow your artistic vision and make it happen as they say if you don't play the game you can never win so i would definitely suggest that you check out chamber music america and some of their opportunities to fund your projects the deadlines are around first week of march second week of march each year so you know, start planning now for next year because there's a lot to the application, the written component, talking about your ensemble, what you've done, talking about the composer, whether that's you or whether you're bringing in a guest composer to work with your ensemble, and uh, an outline of the idea. And, you know, for me, when I write stuff, I like to have other people read it and make sure that uh, things are punctuated properly and all of that. So thanks for watching. I hope maybe... There'll be some more people that'll be applying to the Chamber Music America grants next year. And you don't have to be a 501c3 to apply. You can apply as you uh, and your ensemble. So don't let that stop you. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time.